What's up everybody, it's Daikaiju Tony here, and today in my one shot I will talk about what I consider one of the more underrated Spider-Man games ever made among, you know, Spider-Man fans. But at first I would like to Spider-Man 2? Go ahead. No, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 is overrated. Uh, it's the video game. That, game. that game just sucks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I would like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, well I would like to thank our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, uh, this is the jewel of the Mojave Desert, and, you know, you can find pretty much any comic book related item you want here, very knowledgeable staff, including me, and, <laughs> <laughs> and we ship now, so yeah, you don't even have to come here, you just gotta, you know, be on your phone, slouch down, go, I'm gonna order that, yeah, link down below. Alright, so, Spider-Man, friend or foe? Now, I don't think I ever played that. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So, back then, this ca this this came out around 2007, I believe. Same time Spider-Man 3 came out. Th back then, the, best, the actual best game. <laughs> back then, this game was the closest thing I ever got to a Spider-Man 4. <laughs> because, wow. well, wow. at first glance, when you look at the cover of the game. You can clearly see that all the characters have their movie designs from the Sam Raimi trilogy. Huh. Mm, I remember this game. Yes. I remember this game. The, the game opens with Peter being ambushed by all of his villains from the movies, despite, you know, them being dead in their movies. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, he's ambushed by Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Venom, Sandman, and Harry Osborn as the new Goblin comes wow. and hel helps out Peter. But things start to get weird. All of, so <laughs> all of a sudden, a bunch of rogue, pinkish and purplish symbiotes start coming out of nowhere. Really? They start attacking. Everyone else starts getting teleported out of nowhere. And, and, out of nowhere, Spider-Man's looking in the sky. He gets uh, sucked into a shield hel helicarrier. Yeah. This sounds like a Lego Spider-Man game. Yeah. Well, Spider-Man meets Nick Fury. Who looks like David Hasselhoff? Oh, Hasselhoff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Sci-fi channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, okay, the big explanation and gist is that what's happening is another um, wave of meteorite shards are landing all over the world. They're um, they're spawning these creatures called phantoms, but they're also being controlled by someone since they're not a hundred percent symbiote. They Huh. They're, they're symbiote shards that are powering holograms, basically. What? Yeah. So, basically, Spider-Man has to travel across the world, stop all these uh, phantom symbiotes, and, at the same time, recruit each villain to his side. Because, wow. here's the thing. Yeah, you get to play as a villain. That's high praise. Here's, here's the thing. <laughs> each villain is being mind-controlled by a device in their chest that are sh that's shaped like a triangle... No, not triangle, like a diamond-shaped eye attached to their chest. Resident so, Evil 6, anyone? <laughs> that, that's 5. It's Resident Evil 5. Is that 5? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that was 5. So you right. could play as Dr. Octopus, Venom, Green Goblin, Sandman. That's kind of cool. And, and not just them, not just them. Iron Fist was in there. Yes, yeah. you could play as Iron Fist. Iron Fist was in it? Yes, you could, you could play as Iron Fist, Black Cat, Prowler and eventually other Spider-Man villains. Pretty, that's like, actually I guess pretty the cool. Most popular Marvel hero of all, the Prowler. The Prowler. He's and a well, villain. I thought he was a villain. Uh, apparently, he's a Shield agent in this game. Oh, okay. Um, who else? You get to play as Scorpion, Rhino, Lizard, Blade. So good. Wow. And it's basically a two-player beat 'em up, and one player's Spider-Man by default, and the other player is any of those characters as long as you unlock them. And wow. you know, if only the, one of you has to play as Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, at least it's the Tobey Maguire design, which is like one of the best live-action Spider-Man designs ever, mm. with the silver webbings all over him. Yeah, okay. so I thought it was like I always thought it was like graphite colored. Eh, well, it's more silver in this game, just for oh, okay. art artistic reasons. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so yeah, traveling all around the world, Norman Osborn and uh, Doctor Octavius. They're in Japan. Sandman's in Egypt. Venom's in Transylvania. Uh, somewhere in the sure. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in the Paul Islands. That's where Spider-Man meets Iron Fist, and he eventually faces off. Uh, he doesn't face off Lizard. I think he faces off Scorpion. But yeah, eventually get, Spider-Man gets his team of heroes, anti-heroes, and villains. 
to find out who is controlling the phantoms with the illusion tech. Mysterio. Yes, it's Mysterio. I was going to say, wait a second. Yeah. It's Mysterio. Illusion's Mysterio. Yes. It's going to be Mysterio. Mysterio is controlling all the phantoms. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Spidey, since, you know, Spider-Man 3 came out around this time, he has to get the black suit. Yeah. He gets the black suit. Him and whoever the second player is just storm in there, fight Mysterio, beat the crowd out of him, and yeah. So after that, Spider-Man <laughs> goes back to the shield helicarrier. He uh, shield helicarrier. He gets the last uh, shard of symbiote that Mysterio had. Uh, Nick Fury says, "Oh, good job, son. Uh, we paid off all your college debts." And it's like, "How do you know who I, who I am?" And it's like, <laughs> "We own a helicarrier, and I have a million-dollar spy agency behind my hand." <laughs> Uh, ends up with a, with a cliffhanger because obviously this was made around the time Spider-Man Four wasn't you know flat out canceled yet. Oh really? Yes. W Miss, uh, Nick Fury's looking at the test tube with the last uh, symbiote uh, shard. He's like, considering all the trouble this thing caused, let's call this Project Carnage. And yeah. Boo. <laughs> but it was doing so well. Yeah. But man, this was like the most fun beat 'em up game ever on the PS2 with Spider-Man in it, and the fact that it has the Sam Raimi character designs in it was just like icing on the cake. Nice! So, if you could actually find this game on PS2 or Xbox 360, I highly recommend picking it up. It's one of the more underrated Spider-Man games in comparison to well, the pile of Spider-Man games out there, and yeah, I highly recommend it, and you know, if, if, if you play it, just you just give me a thanks because you know I'm the one who's like <laughs> bringing it back to light. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nice, Dakai Jatoni. Thanks, Tony. Signing out. <laughs>